for the sign of Gemini, hello and welcome to my channel. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up, we'll see what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Gemini, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Ace of Swords. Now, the Ace of Swords, it can indicate a new beginning of some sort, possibly on several fronts. Sometimes this new beginning, it gets started by a separation of some kind. Could be from a relationship, could be from a job situation. Something, some type of separation. Just know that as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all, is actually good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go. Now it's with, it's with the Seven of Wands. Now the Seven of Wands, you could find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top. Think so things should be going well. You should be feeling good. Any projects that you have, they should be moving right along. You still might have some regular moments of self-doubt, unfortunately. But now it's going to be the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people. Because your thinking is going to be clear, and you could actually help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card, it points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. So the recent past energy, Gemini, between you and your person, like I said, the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Wands. So what I'm getting for a lot of you, Gemini's, is that you could be, you, you probably told your person that there's something they need to stop doing, something that they need to cut out, something, maybe a situation that they need to cut out, maybe, um, um, person they need to cut out, something you wanted them to stop doing, just cut it out. Maybe it was a bad habit. And yeah, you might have given this person the ultimatum. If you want to win this connection with you, if they want to win this connection with you, or win you, then just cut it out. Whatever it was, this is what you told your person. If they want to be with you, if you want to be the last man standing with you, you told them this, then cut it out. Put a stop to it. Something. I don't know what it was, but that's what you told your person. Kind of like an ultimatum. Yeah, because the Seven of Wands is about wanting to win. It's about wanting to be the last man standing. So you let your person know. Yeah, if this is what you want, then cut it out. Put a stop to it. So, we move on over. And we take a look and see. What's coming up for the two of you? So we got the Four of Wands. And it's with the Eight of Swords. Now the Four of Wands can actually indicate that you might be attending a special event or you could be thinking about it. It's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating, so go. 
you have a good time. If you have a business, it could be going really well or it will start to go really well. So it could be the time when you feel proud of yourself. Others will be proud of you. Now, although this is a positive card to get in a reading, it does show that there could be a need for you to keep your wits about you. Although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, just know that you're probably still in a building up phase and now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This card, it can sometimes mean that you might be thinking about moving. Maybe moving your place of residence. Now, it's with the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords can be about holding back. Could be, be, could be because you're afraid to move into the future. Or because you're afraid of getting hurt by a new situation. Or maybe for no reason at all. And I say for no reason at all, because if you look at the Eight of Swords, it's the card below the word present. This man, he's caged himself in with these swords. And there's a fire behind him, and there's a big, I guess it's a bull behind him. So, there's an opening there, right in front of him. Whereas he could easily put one foot in front of the other and just run but no this person is afraid to move forward so like I said that's why it could be for no reason at all so you have to think through what it is you're afraid of because the truth of the situations they're probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be so coming up for you and your person, Gemini, Four of Wands, clarified by this Eight of Swords. So what I'm getting is that you might be feeling ready for the relationship or the connection to become a whole lot more committed. Because when you get the Four of Wands, it can... Well, not can be. I'm going to say it is. Four of Wands is the marriage and commitment card. Or maybe just long term. Something serious. So, I'm getting for a lot of you, Gemini's, you're ready for commitment with this person. Uh, or something more serious. Just maybe, maybe go to the next level. But your person is, is not moving. Yeah, I'm kidding. For a lot of you, your person hasn't, they still have not done the work that you, that you two discussed that they need to stop doing. They're just standing there. They haven't put things into action like the two of you discussed that they would. Or that they should, if they want, or if they wanted a new beginning with you. Or if they wanted something to happen with you. Or if they wanted to be the last man standing with you and in this connection. Yeah, they're just standing there, kind of stuck in their head. They haven't done the work. You told them already what they need to stop doing. What they need to cut out, but they're just standing there. And they feel the heat. They feel the pressure that you put on them. But they just, they haven't done the work. And you're ready for possibly commitment with this person. So that is what's coming up. Now let's see what the challenge the challenge is going to be Two of Cups ends with the Knight of Cups. Two of Cups it can refer to romantic partnerships but that's not its only connotation. 
It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This card, it says that things are likely to be going really well. So you should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. Now it's with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups, like most of the cups in the tarot, it's optimistic. A really good card to see in a reading. Now this one actually comes with messages. Usually the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. The Knight of Cups tells you that things are going to be going well. You're likely to be feeling really charged up, ready for action. It means good news, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. So some type of message is coming in. The Knight of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups is the card above the word challenge. Two of Cups, it often, it often refers to romantic partnerships, yeah. And I already talked about that. So, what it's saying is, for your challenge, Gemini, Two of Cups, clarified by this Knight of Cups. It's saying that, yeah, your person, they do feel like you're the ideal partner. They feel like there's a great connection with you. And there's romantic love. That's what you get with the Two of Cups. They could actually want marriage and proposal. They could actually want that. That's what you get with the Two of Cups. So it looks like your person, they... They do start to take action towards you. They're no longer standing standing there next to a fire, feeling the heat. So they come rushing in. They're rushing. This Knight of Cups rushes in, charges in, being romantic and sensitive, trying to sweep you off your feet or say things that you... They know you want to hear. Just being very romantic and sensitive. They rush in. They're rushing in. They see you as a, a great love. Yeah. So. They finally did um, make some type of movement. Now. We need to find out what the outcome is. So. We have the three of swords. And it's with the Ten of Wands. Now, the Three of Swords, with this card, there's an element of sorrow. But what's on the other side can be enhanced understanding and joy. So, allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up so that you can move past it. This card, it can point to maybe a deep emotional issue, deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you deny any pain, it will not make it go away. So allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up. But don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sadness for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough. And others will not be able to do this for you. Now it's with the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. You may want to look hard at this to see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load. Either liter literally or figuratively. Because if you look careful, if you look carefully, you could find that part of the burden that you're carrying actually could belong to someone else. So it's going to be important for you to pace yourself and try not to take on too much. So the outcome for you and your person, Gemini, well, it's, it's showing that it, it could start to feel like it's at a difficult place. It's at a hard place. Uh, it could start to feel like the two of you are going through a rough time. 
like I say, your person, they do come rushing in. They finally made some movement. They feel that you're the person for them. But I'm getting, they, they, they came rushing in, but they didn't, they still didn't do the work that was necessary. They still did not cut out what they needed to cut out or put a stop to. They didn't do it, but they did come. They came towards you. Um, being romantic, insensitive, but that wasn't enough. So, the relationship for the outcome, like I said, it feels difficult now. Because if you look at the Ten of Wands, it's the card that's below the word outcome. This man, he's walking forward, he's carrying these wands, but he's actually about to fall backwards. And then this ugly three of swords here. Yeah, you might start to close yourself off, Gemini, to this person. You might start to reject them, shut them out. You might, or you might feel like doing this. You might feel like severing ties with this person. Because you're, you're not happy that... They, they haven't done the work yet. So, whatever it is, it's, it's, um, causing the connection to be, to feel really difficult. So, that is the reading that I have for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How do you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Gemini, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well. Staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong. Come back and join me for the next Gemini reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, could be a family member, or it could be a situation. Take the reading for however it resonated. Because these are general, they're general readings, they're not personal readings. So Gemini, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. Also, thanks for all my new subscribers. You guys have really been hitting that button lately. And I appreciate that. It helps to grow my channel. And thanks to all my old subscribers. So... I can never say it enough. Gemini, thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care. And take care. And take care.